You want to ride with us to Mercy Hospital? <laughs> the only place I'm going, back to my hotel for a nice hot bath. You can't ignore the fact that you were trapped in a burning building. You got smoke inhalation at the very least. You need to be checked out by a doctor. I wouldn't argue this man is used to getting his way. Maxie! Maxie, if you're in here, let me know it! Maxie! If you had died after I risked everything, I would have killed you myself. That's very charming, <laughs> the way you put things, you know what I mean? Oh my, what a touching reunion. I'm so without my attorney. Well, that's fine, that's fine. All you have to do is listen, okay? We've got search and seizure warrants ready to serve on Anthony Zakar's residence, mm -hmm. as well as several offices which we have reason to believe he utilizes as fronts. Good for you. What does that have to do with me? Well, Mr. Zakar is your father-in-law, and you've run your own rather notorious organization. So? Well, it follows that Mr. Zakar would want to get you into the family business. Which means that there is a better than good chance that we'll uncover enough evidence to charge you with various RICO violations as well. You could be going away for a very long time. But I, I haven't done anything wrong. Why are you looking at me like that? You seem just a little bit overconfident. Which leads me to believe that you may have entered into some sort of agreement with Jason Morgan. Let's go fast, Billy. Wait, Jason. Jason. He could be lost here. I know. I want to find Spinelli, too. We're nearly five minutes away from passing out. It's too big for me to carry. I'm trying anywhere, so please. You gotta let me bandage your head again. I can't believe it's all now. It's all over. Yeah, we can keep going. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. You always say, Jason, is that you're just okay, but you know what that's taught me? What? Oh, here you gotta take off your jacket. To ignore you, uh, oh, I'm judge for myself. Okay, you're gonna have to. Oh, gosh. Just uh, sit tight and uh, let me take care of this, okay? Okay. I told you that I really hate the sight of blood. About two or three hundred times. Well, I guess some things never change. Um, I think this is going to do until you're able to see a doctor. Well, it's going to have to because we don't have much time. we got to find Spill and get out of here. All right. The question is, where do we start? Where do we start? Um, oh, Spinelli left his laptop, which means there had to be some kind of emergency. I thought he was going to be right back. Oh, wait a minute. See, he, he said something about a Wi-Fi signal kept dropping out and that he was looking for a hard cable line. So he was looking for a utility closet. I have no idea. But Jason, why would he leave his laptop behind? Well, he wouldn't want to get his computer near the fire. He wanted to make sure that the, the, the closet was accessible first, and then he'd go back for his computer. Okay, that's where we're going to start. Let's go. Oh, sounds good. You sure this is the right way? I'm not sure of anything right now, Jason. It's not sure they have a little computer, but I didn't memorize it. It was hours ago, and I don't... How do we know if he's even here anymore? He could have went out from the helicopter. No, no, Spinelli's still here somewhere. He's here. <laughs> Spinelli! 